if New Year's resolutions have taught us anything, it's that sometimes people don't stick to what they said they were going to do. And in the lead up to Kings of War 3rd edition, we asked multiple people from the Mantic Bunker to assemble and paint an army ready for the launch. So, we're going to see what their favourite miniature is, if they actually achieve what they said they were going to do, and also I'm going to see if I realise that I definitely didn't iron that backdrop. Let's have a look. Hello, I'm Martin and I picked Night Stalkers for my Road to 3rd edition army. Uh, I am Rob and like a madman I decided to do a full model count, 2000 point, Goblin Army. So I am Kirsten, I am the resin caster here at Mantic and I picked the Basileans. Uh, I am Elvis and I picked the Brotherhood or a themed Brotherhood list. My name's Sonny, and the army I picked, well, picked uh, for the league was King uh, the Ogres. My name is Matthew, and I picked the Almighty Dwarfs. Uh, my name's Duncan, I do graphic design and layout, and I picked Northern Alliance. Oh, I've achieved more than I set out to do. I, uh, we set out to do, I think it was up between 1,500 and 2,000 points, and I ended up with 4,000, I think. So uh, I got a bit addicted, um, and so, uh, yeah, over and above. I achieved what I set out to do. Yeah, I mean, in terms of, of making my life slightly miserable and deciding what to do a ridiculous task, yes, I have. But no, I, I have actually, in fact, I've exceeded expectations, not, and I've painted about 3,000 points of wonderful, lovely green goblins. Yes, I have, I've achieved what I set out to do. I think I've... I've changed my mind along the way about what that needed to be, but I have built the stuff that I got initially. So, yes, broadly. Uh, I think we were set out to do about 1,500 points, um, which I've done. Um, uh, I just want to do a few more units so I can call the, the army done. Yes, I do, actually. I believe I achieved more than what I needed to, actually. <laughs> Went a bit crazy. Kept painting more and more, which is unusual for me because I'm a slow painter. <laughs> So I set out to achieve at least a thousand points. I thought I might as well make it achievable by the most baseline standard. Uh, but I've actually managed to achieve 2000 points. Uh, it's a bit of a ragtag group, but at the end of the day, 2000 points. So I'm happy with that. Um, broadly speaking, yes, it was so I, I kind of intended to get a thousand points done for um, the first the first few games, and then anything I did over and above that was a was kind of a bonus. So yes, I have, by my own modest standards, I've achieved what I set out to do. Have I got some more to do? I have got one, uh, which is another um, regiment of, of phantoms, uh, but I've also started something new, so they might sit on the shelf for a while. Uh, but I think I've pretty much covered for everything I need. Uh, for now. I mean, I've, I haven't got any more. I've always got more goblins to paint. It's a permanent hobby. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I've pretty much, I've pretty much painted everything that was on my to-do list, apart from, I've got a couple of war trombones, maybe another slasher, uh, maybe, actually, maybe some, yes. Yes. <laughs> so I've got probably lots more to paint. It's, it's a never-ending task. Always. There's always more to do. You never finish. I've started three more armies since then. So, yeah, I, I, the, the elements that I would like to add to the Basileans that I think would suit more what I was initially going for, like knights, paladins, Elahai, uh, I've got some chariots to build. The, the fast moving, harder hitting stuff that I would like to move towards. So, plenty to go. Uh, yes, I have a unit of Pegasus Knights to do, um, and a regiment of regular knights, um, and a horde of um, men-at-arms, which will be skeletons in my case because I'm doing an undead fiend list. I have an, an endless pile to paint. I decided like I, I, I need more chariots because I had no chariots. Uh, and th that's my hurdle at the moment. It's like, I need to do loads of chariots. Oh, that's a lot of straps. There's so many straps. <laughs> so yeah, I, I got more chariots to do. I got the Ogre Berserkers uh, and my, oh, what are they called? The 
Siege Breakers, that was it. Uh, converted those up uh, from Palace Guard. You probably will see those at some point. But yeah. So I've still got a Dwarven Standard Bearer to do and I think I'm looking at getting some more Brock Riders done. Uh, they're a lot of fun when I've played with them, so I kind of want to build some more just in case uh, I fancy a bit more of a Brock-centric army. Uh, and apart from that, I'm just probably going to take a look at what else I can build just to give myself some more options. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so I've got roughly a million clansmen to paint. Maybe, well, yeah, in various forms. I loved it. I mean, it was the first time I've built a serious, seriously big army um, and, you know, been using them since. Um, and to have that, that choice, I think, of, arm, you know, of your, the army was, was, was really good. Uh, but the actual painting and modelling and um, the whole experience was really, was really good, especially seeing it all laid out beautifully. I mean, I always enjoy painting goblins. Uh, I mean, I, I know I joke about it being a miserable process, but and it is a long process, obviously, and setting myself a high target of. I mean, it's about probably about 200, 200 models, which is a lot to do. But um, I, I mean, I loved it. I think once you once I kind of got the the core troops out of the way, it was really fun then to paint the trolls and the wing it and the things like the giant were great fun. So yeah, I, I loved it actually, like an idiot. Oh, very much. It was it was a really good time, particularly having everybody here. So enthusiastic. You never seen any any hobby like it going on around. Everyone was busy every lunchtime. Uh, it's really it's good motivation to keep going. Uh, particularly when you've painted your 80th men at arms and you just think, eh, I'm kind of sick of this now. And someone else has painted another unit and more is going and you think, eh, actually, yeah, come on then. Um, I like converting and theming stuff. So I think I liked using models from the Undead range to represent another army and converting them and kit bashing things together and stuff. So I've, I've enjoyed doing that. I loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, Favourite game by, by a mile. Um, absolutely loved everything about it. The We kept up our humour here at, at Mantic. It was amazing. Uh, as you'll know, me and Matt had a little rivalry. We've settled that now, I believe. <laughs> Though I think the slight bitter, yeah, bitterness there. <laughs> So I've really enjoyed the experience, uh, especially within uh, the Mantic headquarters. We've we've all been kind of keeping each other going and and motivating each other. And it's been really nice to see everyone's tables grow. Probably really bad for if if we're trying to get work done because there's just nowhere to put anything. Um, it's just filled with armies. I'm sure anyone that's visited the bunker during uh, the time we've been building them, it's been like. Okay, we'll, we'll have to find a different workspace because uh, Rob's goblins are everywhere. They just keep spreading. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been a really fun experience to to see it all grow and and definitely rewarding. It's been great. I, I, there's so much sort of uh, opportunities for doing hobby with that, especially the clansman clansman sprue that I couldn't talk about too much last time because uh, it was I think maybe it was just announced or hadn't I don't think it had come out yeah. then so. Yeah, I can like be more excited about it this time, which is good. But yeah, I really love that. Uh, when you say I played, you don't want to know if I've won any games. You don't know if I've uh, good. Well, yes, I've played quite a few games with the goblins, um, including some upper element games, some here as well. Um, and I'm still, I'd like, I'm still experimenting with tactics. Let's just say that. Yes, a few. And how did they go? I've won, especially against Rob, because. Uh, he plays, he's been using these dwarves, I think. Oh, and these goblins. And they uh, they both get torn up. Two games so far. Um, one we won't mention. One was much better. So we're looking forward to getting some more games going. Uh, we're going to have some games here on a Friday after work, which I think will encourage people to stay. And yeah, hopefully New Year, crack on with some gaming. <laughs> yes, um, I uh, actually played a game with uh, your good self, which uh, I, I won, which was my first game of Kings of War, and I'm yet to win a game since, so um, not particularly well. Uh, I probably played, I played quite a few actually, yeah. Um, mixtures we've had, it was so much fun, we thought what would be like to play uh, multiplayer, we tried that, that was great fun. Uh, Absolutely hilarious. Uh, played obviously uh, Matt himself. Uh, played a lot of Duncan. Played against Dave. Um, 
Yeah. It's been absolutely, I've absolutely loved it. The actual, the feeling as well. It is absolutely like, this is the first time I've actually got into King's War so in depth and all I want to do is paint more and more and build more and more and I'm already thinking of my next army. So I've played two games. Uh, I did a sort of 2v2 homebrew kind of thing with Elvis, Sonny and Duncan, uh, which managed to somehow win. Um, uh, so that, that was good fun learning with three other people. And then Sonny came back for round two and absolutely wiped the floor with me. Uh, so I need to I need to go back and, and have another go at Sunny because uh, his ogres are getting a bit too confident and I don't like that. Yes, I've done a few. I haven't exactly won any yet, but uh, yeah, partly. I mean, not that I'm bitter, but Elvis's incredibly cowardly brotherhood army stitched me up, and I, I don't think I, I don't think I'll ever forgive him for that. I think that'll stay with me forever now. The model I'm probably most proud of is the Dream Hunter from the new diorama. Um, I put a lot of care and attention into it because I, I like individual hero models. Uh, but I, I quite like, uh, from a scale point of view, is the, the twin terrors because uh, they're quite fun, big gribbly things. Which one am I most proud of? Uh, I th initially, I, was, I really, really liked the Winget. I thought that was my favourite. But then um, I absolutely loved the Slasher model um, and I was really excited about painting that. To begin with, I did a, te a terrible job of it. So we had a little bath in Dettol for a few uh, other brands that are available. Uh, and, uh, and then I kind of started again, and actually now I'm really, really pleased with that one. So I think it was, it was such a great model, I wanted to do it proud, and hopefully I've done that. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Which am I most proud of? Mm. I'd say the Abbess is my favorite miniature, but I've not quite finished it yet. So, oh, it's probably the Tundra Wolf shaking hands with the Man-at-Arms, to be honest. It's probably my uh, necromancer slash druid-ish kind of guy. Um, it's undead themed, it's very, very difficult to. Um, it would be a necromancer because of undead stuff. But I, I like that model, it's, it was new for Vanguard. Um, and I got to paint it when it was fresh out and stuff like that. And that was, I think, probably the first model I did for my army. Um, that, yeah. So that was my centerpiece, the one I spent time on. So the miniature I'm most proud of is uh, probably my Garlux Fury. Uh, it was, uh, I'd already built a steel behemoth, which I'd posed in a, in a fun way. Uh, but then Garlux Fury was sort of a mad scientist moment where it was, what if I take this huge turret from, uh, from one of our Warpath uh, miniatures, and I just slap it onto a steel behemoth. Uh, and it's definitely a really fun fun piece when it's on the board, and uh, I got to try out a lot of different techniques that I hadn't really done before, just building the rest of my army, like adding the steam, and, and generally just making sure it fits together by, by molding it out. Uh, so yeah, definitely my favorite one that I've done. Ah, uh, I think it's my Siege Breakers. Because I think the conversion, I, I'm not, well, kit bashing, slash, slightly converting. Um, I'm really poor at converting. I have, I have all these ideas, but I always go like, oh, it's so much effort, I, I'm never gonna get that done. Um, so to put, to do, to do what I did there, I was really happy and that, they're by far my favorite. And the game they were in, they were amazing. They just don't want to be shift, shifted. Um, it's hard not to say the giant, just because he's huge. I, yeah, I really enjoyed painting that. It was sort of, I, I did it over a, a good few lunch lunch breaks, so it was nice to see that sort of progress and come along, and get a lot of encouragement from the uh, from the forums on the uh, the, the uh, Facebook groups on the internet and uh, the office. So yeah, pro probably that one. Uh, well, we've joined. So Black Andy at Blackjack Legacies just started a, a new group. Uh, for slow grow army building, so I had a little bit of a head start, so I kind of cheated, but I'm doing orcs um, for that group, and a few others from here are doing it as well. So I know Rob's doing his ogres, um, but uh, yeah, I'm well away in doing that. I've got everything built and primed, 
uh, and I've started a few of the, the hero troops and then get down to the nitty gritty of hordes and, uh, and the regiments as well. But uh, yeah, Orcs next. And then February comes, I'll probably do Abyssal Dwarves as well, but uh, I think that's going to be the choice for a lot of people. So I've got a busy two months because they might have to go on a hiatus if they're not done. But uh, yeah, Orcs for the next two months. Obviously more goblins, uh, more and more goblins. I mean, again, that's quite a big thing. But uh, no, I, I'm currently decided to start a new ogre army because I don't know if you've heard, but ogres do good combat. Um, so I'm doing an ogre army, which does also, I mean, basically the ogres are kind of big, muscly goblins anyway, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm doing them uh, mixed in with a few of the goblins that I've already painted. So up next, I've, I've already got the Shadows in North box. I've got the Ogre Mega Army as well. So the Northern Alliance, I'm trying to focus on some conversions and particularly multi-basing. The Night Stalkers are going to be more of a painting challenge because I've never really been able to blend colors. So that's the perfect opportunity to try that out. And the Ogres are, I'm trying some sculpting. So they've all got half cloaks and sort of sashes and things. So it's three different armies pushing three different hobby aspects. So I'm gonna try and test myself a little bit. I don't know. Um, I I think I hit such a good one with the, the Brotherhood that people really enjoy seeing that like anything I do now, I'm like worried about, like, can I get these to be as cool as the, uh, the Undead Brotherhood? Um, I tried a Varanger army, but it didn't quite feel right. Um, so I don't know what I wanna do that next i might might do abyssal dwarfs um post down in in some form of comment what army i should do next um and the one i guess the most i'll do um <laughs> i'm gonna end up doing elves aren't i <laughs> <laughs> well uh chariots obviously to finish up the chariots um once i've done chariots i think i'm going to do a slasher uh, i have no idea how good it is in game but the model is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Who doesn't want a, you know, a big old dragony lizardy thing going across the table shooting things? And the coolest thing is it's got goblins on there as well. Who doesn't love goblins? <laughs> so up next is basically just more dwarfs. I'm trying to give myself probably up to 3,000 points. Uh, gonna sort of get involved with Blackjack's uh, little, little campaign he's got going on, uh, but sort of, using that to expand my current dwarfs, uh, just to give myself more room to maneuver in my army lists and, and what I want to build. Because uh, currently right now, if I'm doing a 2000 point list, I have one army that I can use. It's not a case of, oh, I feel like more more war machines would help or more Brock Riders would help. Um, so I'm, I'm doing that, so I've got a bit more options, a uh, bit more creativity that I can, that I can involve when, when building my lists. Oh, uh, like I say, I've got a whole bunch of clansmen, uh, so two troops of the pack hunters. I'm doing a sort of slight kitbash conversion for my Lord on a Chimera, which I'm quite excited about. That's an idea I've had since way back when I first saw the the unit entry before you know before I'd even seen the the, the new model, which has made me question whether I want to ca carry on with the conversion or just uh, dive into the new model now. So yeah, I'm looking forward to. Finishing, finishing that up. Your resolution, basically paint more goblins. The same as my resolution every single year. Uh, play more games. So uh, I want to go to some tournaments as well. So I've, I've already signed up for, I think it's the, one of the uh, Northern Kings ones already. Uh, we're going to go to as many at uh, uh, Black Dragon with Gary Sharp as I can, because he's fairly local. Uh, and we're going to have some here as well. So tournaments, I want to get into that. Um, and finish my orcs and yeah, maybe three armies by summer, I don't know. But uh, well, yeah, more games for sure. Ooh, resolution for 2020. And probably to try and finish the four armies I now own. And then the Abyssal Dwarves are out in February, so I'm gonna need some of those because they're honestly, I think the nicest things we've ever done. So more building, more painting. I want to try and keep the painting momentum going for sure, and just definitely more games. Uh, to win a game? Is, is that it's good enough for? Yeah, 
Right, so I think at the end of this, uh, at the end of this month in December, uh, I want to uh, finish up my ogres, get them all done and dusted, and then New Year, new army. That is the plan. So uh, I'm going to start bullying other people to join my little pledge here, is to start a new army, and I'm torn. I'm torn at the moment, because I'm thinking of doing Kingdoms of Men, but using Northern Alliance and mixing things in. So uh, I've seen some great ideas, and yeah, it's... I work in a work with a company that has so many ideas and it's great. The motivation here is amazing and that's what powers me on. And hopefully you guys get the same feeling when you're gaming. So my Kings of War resolution for 2020, uh, I think it's just to take my time a bit more. I'm a, I'm a pretty impatient person and, and kind of a speed painter. I like to get stuff done and assembled and straight onto the board. Uh, so I don't really take a lot of time with my mold lines. I'm a I'm a three color black wash kind of guy, which I like. Uh, so I think, especially on some of my hero units that I've got assembled and, and uh, painted, uh, just sort of take my time a bit more and, uh, and really bring out some of those finer details and use some of the techniques that I've been learning. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a good one to do. It'll help me have some really nice miniatures at the end and I'll stop being jealous of everyone else's miniatures I see. Um, get 2019. 2020. Okay, that, that makes more sense because, yeah, not a lot. Um, I'd like to get 3,000 points painted by the, by the end of the year, but 2,000 points in enough time so that I can do at least one event. Because I've never, never done a tournament before in my life, so yeah, I want to do at least one event uh, next year. Yeah, because it seems like people, yeah, people always look like they're having fun. And uh, basically need to just get over myself and get out of there. And the most important question of all, do you think Ronnie would have an army done? No. Uh, no, and he still hasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. Nobody imagined Ronnie would have an army done. So as a fellow dwarf player, I, I was hoping he would have his army done. Uh, but as someone that has seen him run around doing one job and then suddenly remembering he has another job, I was thinking it might not happen, but ultimately I, I, I think he's got his army done. I, I can only think he has it done. Please. <laughs> Ronnie's, got an, Ronnie's got his army done. Is this, I mean, I do. Unless he's got like Santa's elves and kidnapped them, and force them to paint his army. This is like the shoemaker and the elves. 100%, he has not got that. That is six years in the making. Movies don't take as long. Half-Life 3 will be out before his army is finished. They said it would never happen. They said it could not be done. Over eight years in the making. Coming to a gaming table near you. Well, probably not. Ronnie has painted his door. It's a miracle. It's really a sort of a miracle. Yeah, I... There's two things. Firstly, I wanted to paint some more. And then secondly, it had to be balanced. I'd obviously done all the fun stuff over the last 18 months. But didn't know, so when I plugged it into, um, you know, Easy Army, I didn't have quite enough regiments. But between when we last spoke and now, I think I've done four to six regiments, plus finished off some of my Vanguard stuff. And it's legit. And I think we're coming in at a stonking just 3,000 points. So none of this, uh, you know, none of this easy 1,000 point rubbish. But it's a proper army now. It's nearly, you know, nearly a real army. Yeah, I think there's, there's two reasons I've got more to do. One, if I actually finished my dwarf army, something catastrophic would happen to the world. Or me. Or something bad because... It's just after eight years, it simply can't be. So as I was doing it, I started making one of those, the doggy regiments, the Mastiff regiment, using up all my little spare dogs. And I got one of those, um, one of the red ones from the Vanguard range. So purposefully have not finished that and never will without at least lining up one more regiment. Somewhere on my painting table will always be some dwarfs. Even if we're at 20,000 points, I'll still have another 500 on the thingy because I'm protecting the world. Um, and also there's just always 
cool things isn't there in the in, in, in the range that gets added in and and bits of conversion and you know, kind of doing your hobby is a little bit of fun but i think there's enough that if i wanted to play a game i have enough choice um and, and you can kind of call it done enough i love it i mean you just don't you don't particularly when you work in the industry get your hobby time uh, enough um and having already been a, a slug into it which i know is a, a bit of a cheat but finishing it making it you know third edition legal making it balanced so that i can really play um but there's nothing better than kind of sneaking down on a sunday morning and just getting an hour of hobby in and um most of the stuff i was doing was also the stuff i was scared of doing so the last unit i did before i started this was my bulwarkers which I didn't want to do because it's the metal plastics. I've already done quite a lot of the regiments. It's one of my favorite regiments because, you know, I've got a few arms from different places and, and did some conversions. And then I did two more regiments, which I can push together as a horde. And again, I had different heads. I had different heads to them. And so the, in some ways, this stuff is actually my favorite stuff because I've, I've not just done it vanilla. It's had some extra bits and more conversions and you've got a bit braver and so yeah i thoroughly enjoyed it and what i was most fearful of have often become my most favorite parts of the army let's not let's not rush one thing at a time i think i think you know getting it painted is more than enough progress for this year and uh, should we be having a large summer campaign I think. um next year killing goblins um then I think they could well come out then. But yeah, no, that's 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 a new year. Let's let's start a new. Let's start and let's actually play with them. How oh, can I just down to that? Now? I mean, uh, it's the regiments. I mean, there's no single regiment. I've, but if if you look at the units, and I've got these pictures, but the they've got, they've got standard bearers, which is a second just that we've got rid of that and for gaming purposes. But they've got the standard there. They've got the dog. They just got that bit of character. I like the one. I put a big rock that I've found some as you do when you're doing the hobby thing where you just oh that'll make a great thing on a base and you just end up with tons of crap um i actually used some of that and um and then i converted the metal levies that came with the vanguard but added plastic heads to them so they didn't look too different or, or plastic shields to them so they blended in and i put those on one of those and that regiment is kind of you know it was my fourth or fifth or sixth regiment in the army and actually doing it with loads of character kept me sane so probably that regiment i don't know i'm I, I, i'm quite thinking about doing my gaming table i thoroughly enjoyed my dead zone one which i did a couple of years ago for the dead zone summer campaign and is now very famous in all of our photography because for some reason muted colors that i did it in the, the, the ben loves to photograph it on rather than the really well painted stuff um there's also a Trident Realm Vanguard faction that I glued together and, and got as far as basing. And I don't think I've quite got the stomach for another full army, but a, a Vanguard unit could be nice. Um, and then, of course, we'll have some new games coming out next year, so we'll have to start you know, picking up some of that. The Abyssal Dwarfs as well. I've got a plastic sprue of those. They're very, very, very nice. So, yeah. To uh, play games... Well, a few things. It's play games in the summer campaign actually properly play and maybe play some vanguard and some kings of war games together so so definitely do some of that um and the second thing that i'm super excited about is over the last couple of years obviously adepticon uh, and the american tournament scene has grown and grown and is huge and successful and uh, we've added kind of adepticon alongside the u.s masters to be two of the majors alongside clash of kings at the uk and i'm i'm gonna go down and see what's happening in australia because that's our third biggest market and they've got a, an event cancon at the beginning of january so i want to kings of war i want to get down there and celebrate the success i think it's the third biggest tournament in the world it's in the uh, you know third biggest country the us and uh, clash of kings so go down and see what's going on in that scene i went to the masters this year and i want to go to uh, masters us this year i want to see cancon next year what's the matter? never in doubt not for one second uh, I was going to go for 5,000 points, but you know, it would just be too easy. And that is that. So, tell us what army you are currently assembling and painting right now in the comments below. It's very good for the algorithm. 
And what are you most excited for in Kings War 3rd Edition? Is it the new Titans, new rules, new scenarios? Let us know. And see you next time.